being a human is paradoxical. Through unimaginable loss, we gain deep connection. And through the opportunity to move through pain, we experience the deep pleasure of joy and celebration. And what you two have done in your lives, what you've given us here today is really an embodiment of the complexity of the human experience. You hold fast to your joy, you sing, you dance. And this silliness, extravagant wedding is just a reminder to all of us here who are witnessing you just how precious life really is and how celebratory life can be. There's so much that inspires me about who you are as individuals and as a couple. But what I love most about your relationship and you two in particular is not your commitment to the work it takes to form a great relationship, but your commitment to how much play it takes to create a great relationship. So when it comes down to it, marriage is simply a commitment that says through it all, through the pain, through the pleasure, through the loss, through the connection, through the mundane and the extravagant, through it all, I'm here for it. I'm here beside you. I got your back. And though we might not be perfect, I commit to doing my best to show up for you through thick and thin. So thank you, friends. You are true role models for all of us here witnessing what you've done. Yes, good relationships take work, but great relationships take play. I wished that I had a best friend. I thought about him all the time. A best friend who I could trust with the loneliest parts of myself. When I thought about this friend, I felt at home. I got older and I wondered whatever happened to this best friend that I never got to meet. And then I met you. You are a spectacular example of what it means to be a man. And I've learned so much about the man that I want to be from you. Jeff, my love, I know you by heart. I know how profoundly you have compassion for others and how skilled you are at making the people around you feel good. I know how intensely you love and how intensely you fight for the people that you love. I vow to be your partner your champion, your team. I vow to hold you in your pain and to share in the rapture of life's joy, dancing on the ceiling, dancing in the stars. Love is hard, but this relationship is something I would fight harder for than anything else in my life. We will continue to laugh and cry and remember what it means to be human and in love with life and in love with each other. John, I have learned so much just by walking next to you. You're my biggest source of joy and laughter, my partner in nearly everything that I do, and you're my best friend. I love you for being the person that always feels like home and the one that can gently push and sometimes shove me into my realness. You've always been my fortune when I gaze into the mirror of personal growth. Thank you for standing by me and supporting me while I've become a more mature person. We met each other in similar places of our lives. We were eager creatives that wanted to get the most of what life had to offer. We similarly learned together what life actually is. We were slapped in the face, we ugly cried, 
and we have accepted and grown through the challenge of becoming new versions of ourselves. Seeing you transform from your younger self into who you are now has been one of the most impressive things that I've ever witnessed. While we've had to adjust our ideas of conquering, I'd say we weren't far off. We've traveled the world together, we've built a business, we've made wild art, and we found a way to claim our lives as our own, despite the difficulties of living, learning, and becoming adults. When I look at what we have accomplished together, I'm astounded. I can't wait to continue deepening the story with you. Let's make it weird. Let's make it wonderful. Let's show them how it's done. Let's make those bitches jealous. <laughs> I'm yours, and I pledge to do my absolute best to always treasure you and your well-being. I think you know that finally. Thank you for helping me become more than myself. I love you, and I've never chosen anything in my life more intentionally than I've chosen you. Ladies and gentlemen, fine humans and creatures of all kinds, I'd like to introduce you for the very first time our dearly beloved husbands, Jeff and John! How can I appreciate us even more? I'll break open this seed and spill juicy fruit, fruits of creativity, hope, joy, and love. I'll let the sticky fruit of us run down my lips and chin and wet my hands napkinless. How can I appreciate the sweet fruit of us, you say? The soft, freshly picked plum, torn easily by our teeth after the satisfying crunch of small seeds? Or when old and dried out by this world, we a simple, gnarled date, good with tea, conceal an elegant single pit, ready to birth more. How can I appreciate us? I appreciate the sun and smiles of our friends. They remind me why us, crazy and twisted like a braided ficus benjamina, started to bear fruit to begin with. Is it even possible to appreciate us more? Our love is printed in large sticky letters across my skin and how I try again and again and how we do over and over. For to give of this sweet us is partially to take a sour tart edge too. Oh, and remind me, dear love, when it is particularly bitter, please, please always remind me of how I can appreciate us even more.
said, John is my oldest brother. And if I were to pick my favorite thing about John, and there is a list, it's his ability to always smile, to always make me smile, and always make things bright. And of course, the road hasn't been easy on many levels, but it's brought us all here. Here, as we all are, to celebrate the damn near close to perfect example of true love that John and Jeff have found in each other. Never have I seen two people harbor such love for each other. And even if you just watch them, it is undeniable how perfect they are for each other. And that's all any of us can hope for. In similar energy to John, Jeff has his own capability of brightening a whole room with just his presence. So you can all imagine the amazing, if not cheesy as hell, love story when these two forces of people join together. And never could I have imagined two people more perfect for each other. Jeff and John, we're so proud of all you've accomplished together. And we know it's not been an easy road. Working with a partner isn't easy, but you both have made great strides in your relationship. Raising Cedar has been exciting, to say the least, and challenging, and you've done a fabulous job. We can only imagine what great parents you will be. I'm sure that Jeff's grandma and John's father and grandparents are all looking down on this day and crying happy tears. Raise your glasses and join us in wishing Jeff and John a lifetime of happiness as they begin the next chapter of their lives.